at things eternal, November 21. If the church uh, will put on the robe of Christ's righteousness, withdrawing from all allegiance uh, with the world, there is before her the dawn of a bright and glorious day. Uh, remember, God's promise uh, to his church will stand forever. As we look in the Word of God, in the book of 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, and verse 18, the Bible says, While we look not at the things which are seen, uh, but at the things which are not seen, uh, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Uh, understand it today uh, that as we look around us uh, for the things that we can see, uh, one must uh, realize that these things are only uh, temporary. Uh, but as we look uh, towards the things that we cannot uh, see with our naked eyes, but of course we can see it through our spiritual eyes, uh, those are the things that are eternal. Uh, things that are eternal uh, would be uh, such as going to heaven, uh, living and reigning with Christ forever, occupying the new earth, walking on the streets of gold, standing on the sea that looks uh, like a glass. Now, you might be wondering how to look on a things eternal. As we go through scripture and we see what God would have in store for us, and as we look at the promises of God, as we reflect on Christ daily, we would be seeing things in our spiritual eyes. We would be seeing things that uh, would not yet be seen, but uh, through faith, we would be seeing them. Why not trust in God's word uh, today? And why not let us ask God for the power uh, to focus on the things we cannot see with our uh, naked eyes, but only through our spiritual eyes? Why not let us ask God for the commitment in reflecting on Christ uh, daily? Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for what you have done in and through us. Grant us the commitment, O Lord, so that we can reflect on Christ every day and focus on things that we cannot see. Uh, through our naked eyes, but only through our spiritual eyes. Uh, give us a glimpse of eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.